lost 40 pounds. I was at I was at 240 usually. And then after quarantine, I went to 319. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. It's, it's almost gone. Damn, you looking good. I'm trying. I'm trying to get my dad on the same thing. He's in San All Francisco right. right now. He's trying to he's trying to work it out too. Well, I would be happy to help. It'll be fantastic. So yeah. MK, MK, well, just, Linda, look up, this is my just look up Linda Steele. He's amazing. I, yeah. I will, I will. This is your dad? This is my dad. He's one of the biggest innovators in the world history. He invented Beats by Dre headphones, the monster cable, the auxiliary cable, all kinds of cables. He's the lead inventor right here. He made sound a better world for musicians and for the uh, musical consumers. And this is a, one of the biggest consumer electronic legacy inventors on earth is my pops right here, Mr. Noli. Mr. Noli, it Ooh, is great to meet you. No, you look good. <laughs> What's been happening? Okay. Brian, are, you, are you recording yet, Brian? Of course. This is no. <laughs> well, let me know when you record, Brian. So I can, I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna hop off cam when you guys do your show. I just wanted to make the oh, intro. You should be here. That was such. That was the best introduction. None of us could have done any better than that. We oh. need you. <laughs> He's the number one bullshitter. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sounds like the number one fan. My gosh, this guy. Hey, so no. I think it would be good, but I want to be. I want to leave all focus on my pops. I want to keep them, at, you know, enjoy stuff. I, I get enough attention already. Uh, I bet you do. Uh, I bet you do. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but I'm gonna hop off, Brian. When you're ready to start, just intro him. Like you already know how to intro him, Brian. You're, you're, you're already, you already did it. I don't have to do anything. I'm going. I'm going to the next question for Linda. <laughs> so, so okay. no, these headphones have been around the world with me. They still work. These are med the headphones that you created. This monster, my monster ray box. I oh, love yeah. this. Linda, this is what Linda, you were supposed to see this years ago when you first came to Los Angeles. This is Noel I was telling you about. Remember the headphones we were talking I remember. about? Yes. I've been waiting I mean this long to see Noel. So every time I see him at the CES show or a NAM convention, I'm always calling him, say, our numbers are here. Our numbers are here. Our number is here. And I, I go to him, I give me your headphones, no, let me help you out. This is the man. I love this guy. And I can't say that for a lot of people in the world because he was always nice to me. He still to this day has got the best product. He is that engineer. He is that inventor. And his product is just the best. And no, I keep telling you, I've had so many other headphone companies reach out to me. I'm like, nah, you're not monster. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's a good, uh... Uh, introduction. <laughs> no, what's been what, what's been happening with you? And then, so what else is new? What are you creating now? Uh, we're uh, enhancing the um, uh, audio segment for uh, reaching out to sports, fitness, uh, and uh, you know more lifestyle. So we're thinking of. Uh, what housewives want, you know, and you know, pro products like that. So that can be more outreach quality audio because quality audio is uh, synonymous with a lot of people who are, aren't necessarily uh, involved in it. What you got there, MK? What? What you got there? A million dollars. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you showing? <laughs> oh, I wasn't showing. I was just. Hey, I was just, I was, are, I was you, just are you are you are you at the are you at the mansion in Vegas? Yeah, we got a new mansion. We got we got we just of bought another new mansion do. in Vegas. This is the new mansion. This is our Twitch area. We do our live stream. This is the the middle floor. It's a three story mansion, mega mansion. But this is the middle floor. It's fresh. This is like our where we entertain, hang out, you know, all that good stuff. That is you know, beautiful. it's fresh. It's beautiful. You, when you come to Vegas, you'll experience it. Y'all both come out here. Oh, I'm here. For you. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are always welcome. Oh, my gosh. Maybe come out in a couple of weeks. My dad will be in town in Vegas. I'm going to have him here for, for a couple of weeks chilling. And you guys come out and visit. All right. All right. You let yeah. me know. I've always wanted to call yeah. you know that. 
So you were, you were talking, so Noel, you were talking about hitting the housewives in the world of fitness, in the sports. So obviously we cover all of that with the girls that we have to co-host. That's, I'm looking at Linda right now, that's her ballpark of what she does out of Chicago. And when she's doing her online training, you know, it's always about, I don't, I never liked the Apple earbuds that didn't fit in my ears. This is why I use my headphones. That's why I like monster stuff. Well, that's great. That's a good uh, intro, but uh, we have, you know, it used to be, uh, uh, we designed products for audio people and, you know, we made a, a real great name in that. And we've done uh, uh, a lot of new things as far as, uh, you know, going wireless and stuff like that. But like, uh, I think that version you got now, uh, is, that, is that a Bluetooth version? No, no, no. I, I like the plug-in ones because I love having my mic too. I, I haven't tried the Bluetooth ones. I should try them, but I haven't. I just love the plugins. Yeah, well, for a radio guy, I understand. A lot of, a lot of uh, radio guys love to have a solid connection. You know? Yep. I think for Linda, or, uh, Linda might like the Bluetooth, right? I would like the Bluetooth. So um, it took me years to get my first set of um, earbuds and they're not the Apple ones. Mine are, I forget the name of them to be honest with you, but I, I, I didn't think that they were going to do well to be honest. When I heard that they were, I was like, I don't think those are gonna take because I know me, I'd lose one, one would fall out. I, you know, but I'm gonna tell you why the most annoying part to me, being a woman in the gym, I'm gonna tell you what's bothersome to me. And this happens to me. And I was just at the gym the, um, uh, a few weeks ago and it seemed to really be hitting heavy. I have them in my ears and people don't know they're in my ears. So they come up and they try talking to me, men in particular who are trying to talk to me while I'm there to just try to work out, just trying to be alone, get a good workout in. So I'm being approached by people who don't look, don't they don't, they can't tell that I have those yeah. in my ears. So they start talking to me and I want to, I want to be left alone. I think those tell everyone, you know what? I want a little bit of alone time. <laughs> Don't bother me. I have my music on. I'm just trying to get a workout in and go home. And with those buds in my ears, people can't see them. And I'm being approached constantly and having to tell them, huh? I can't, I'm sorry. I, I, I got to get my workout in. And I don't like having to do that. So I prefer the headsets, but I don't have mine anymore. Well, that's great. That's a good, uh, uh, story for yeah it's the truth too i definitely am not alone i i, I speak for all women when they're going uh, to the well that's great you can speak for us too. get more women yeah uh, heck yeah no i always told you what i was gonna do with the girls when i last talked to when i saw you at the nam convention last year linda's this is a great photo the reason i got my segue because noel had a segue first that's why I got my segue because he had one. I'm like, well, Noel's got one. I got to have one. So, no, remember my segue that I had when I last saw you last year at the NAM convention? I took a picture of us. That's why I got it because uh, of you. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Nice. Brian, remember when we were at the uh, Celebrity Connected Gifting Suite? Yeah. And um, I can't remember the name of the guy. Who no, the no, was supposed to go. He, he was supposed to be there. He had a scheduling problem. Oh, okay. But who is the guy who we have a picture? I, I'll, I'll grab pictures. You and I and this, this nice, young, fit, you know, nice looking man who had, who had the beats on. They were like rose gold. Oh, gold. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was an influencer. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes. And so I had, I, I got, and I had to say, Pichino, I have my monster headphones on. He has his beats on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, then the, uh, and then the last time, Noel, when we were at Mr. C's, which is your favorite place to be, uh, I'll never forget that we were there for two days. And Linda, the people that came to pay homage to Noel, my mouth kept dropping. I'm like, how do they know he's here? All these celebrities that he knows would all come pay homage to him. And it's like, it was like a line. They would just be coming and going throughout the day just to pay homage to Noel and the products that he has. That's the stuff that I like. I had never seen that before. I mean, that, that day we had the director come by, we had Pooh Bear, uh, a bunch of other, I'm surprised Stevie Wonder didn't show up. He might have. 
Okay. <laughs> so, so that's good. That's good. You said you're trying to appeal to um, like housewives and so forth. What do housewives, what are they looking for in headsets? Well, they're looking for something different than uh, guys are. So almost like what's important to ladies uh, is different than what's important to guys. So uh, I mean, ladies will uh, pay attention to how does uh, the headphone you know, get, uh, how to untangle a mess. You know, the ladies don't like wires all over, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, the Bluetooth uh, is really good. And our Bluetooth, uh, unlike other Bluetooths, are uh, you know, really oriented toward absolute great sound. So we've been able to get uh, Bluetooth headphones that sound like uh, uh, a, a wired headphone without the wire. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna go wireless, you wanna compare it with uh, a wired headphone. So, uh, you know, we, we let uh, people do that all the time and they're just blown away how good you know, our wireless headphones are. Because usually the wireless headphones are always deficient in some way, like uh, a lot of the Apple products. You know, they're okay uh, for a wireless headphone, but they're not okay for uh, a wire headphone. So I think there's a degree there. And then uh, for uh, ladies, uh, comfort is uh, paramount. Okay, so. Uh, you know, ladies are more sensitive to uh, what goes uh, in your ear, uh, how you work out. Uh, like, for instance, if you had two separate uh, ear earplugs, uh, headphones, that uh, you wouldn't want to have one uh, not work. A lot, of, a lot of times you have to, it, it got a couple technical problems they gotta have uh, the headphone talk to the uh, main uh, transmitter so and then the uh, transmitter needs to sync exactly to uh, the uh, uh, audio coming out of both sides they need to be in sync so those are the kind of issues that you know a lot of manufacturers uh, can't get around because the nature of the product is that it's wireless. So one uh, uh, headphone uh, gets a different um, uh, a signal than if you had it exactly the same with uh, both right and left. So you really got to uh, look at things that are important to women and how important they are. And especially, uh, we can talk about workout. You know, uh, workout and uh, you, you got different parameters. So uh, workout headphone needs to be able to stay in your ear. Uh, when uh, you're moving around, you don't want to be uh, too restricted. Uh, but also you want to have uh, something that is um, let's see, what am I trying to say? Uh, long lasting and durable. So, uh, you know, if you get something that's too flexible, and, uh, you know, what's important in a wired headphone is not so important in the uh, wireless. And you know, in a wireless, you gotta look at the syncing and everything. So what comes out of your iPod, for example, needs to sync between uh, the right and the left. So it's actually two uh, broadcast channels and then having uh, them uh, be uh, independent of each other. So uh, it acts like it's uh, a wired headphone, but it's actually a wireless. So there's, there's a lot of uh, 
techniques in there, and also a wireless a wireless uh, system is not very, you know, it's not as rich. The sound is not as impactful as uh, a, a wire headphone. Uh, that's why we uh, use the uh, our wireless system. That it was um, that developed a technology that had little to delay, they call it latency, and uh, have uh, no deterioration between the right uh, headphone and the left headphone, and then have uh, uh, it, it have the immediacy and the sound quality of our, our wired headphones. So, you know, it, it's pretty uh, stringent requirement on our side. No, oh, did you? Stuff that we take for granted, huh, Brian? It is. Yeah. It, it, it is because uh, the, the reason why I like it, Linda, is because he's an engineer, he's an inventor. He knows what that sound is like. And then he has that first name recognition for a lot of those music people. For me, in the world of drum and bugle corps, Noel is a drummer. You know, he actually played in a country rock band, which is I still find fascinating till this day. But the thing for me is I like that bass and I like that drum beat. And I've only got that sound from Monster. And it reminds me of the old days when we were disc jockeys and you had your headphones and you could close your eyes and you could hear Stevie Wonder. You could hear the Tower of Power, Earth, Wind and Fire. You could hear everything segregated. You can't do that with the earbuds. They don't work that way. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Brian. And so uh, one of the things that and over ear does is it compensates for the uh, uh, I, I say a smaller uh, driver size. So if you're going to take a big headphone like we used to make with uh, and a lot of our competitors uh, still make, uh, you feel like you're getting more bass, uh, more impact. Uh, but you're not really, okay, because you're not designing smart. One of the things. Oh, man. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I, I was thinking of what you were just saying, because one of the things, Linda, when I'm by myself, I have my own disco. And it's so loud with this bass. Uh, I love carrying it on my, my head like this. <laughs> Roller skates on, of course. Exactly. That's why I like it because it's the sound. I can't get that with anything else. And that's what I'm missing. And, 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 it's, and I, when I think about it, I'm like, Noel created it. He knew exactly what people wanted to hear. That's what makes it special. And even, you know, a couple of years ago, what is it, only two years ago, you did your Super Bowl commercial with the monster. I think you had Caddy, uh, was it Cardi B or the Australian rapper? I forgot what her name was. Uh, Izzy, I get whatever her name was. That was a great commercial. It was about the new product, the new sound, and I just never forgot that. Nobody does that. Well, you know, especially with uh, musicians getting behind a product, they, they can't be uh, uh, regretful that you don't get all the sound that you would expect. That's why when people listen to, uh, especially our wireless headphones, that you, know, you get you know, really awesome sound, um, you know, this, uh, despite the fact that it's wireless, <clears throat> you don't have any compromises, and you know, it's impactful too. So that's what the, uh, one of the things that we designed for is, do you get the same impact, the same clarity, the same big bass feel as you do with a wired headphone. That's great. No, um, I know. Okay, oh, go, go ahead, Linda. Go ahead. I was gonna say when I'm on when I'm doing cardio, cardio is my least favorite thing to do, and the only way that I can get through it is if I have good music on and everything else is drowned out. Right. And that's, and I, I've even found myself, I suppose I'm cardio just because I'm just like, just hearing it and getting into it. And so I, the sound absolutely matters. It absolutely does. Again, when I have my little things in, you know, sometimes one isn't as, 
the sound isn't as good because it's actually falling out of my ear and I don't even know it. So I'm having to you know, always adjust it. I need to go back to these guys, Brian. I need a pair of those. Back to those. Well, uh, Lisa, right? Linda. Linda, okay. So Linda, well, uh, get you a uh, autographed pair from the Head Monster. I <laughs> want it autographed. I hope you're not lying to me. I don't know. I, I can do that. Yes. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. I'll post it all over social media. Oh, fantastic. Well, uh, Brian, get us all the uh, information, uh, where to mail it and all that stuff. She, you don't love yeah. it. Yeah. So, oh no, gosh. the thing about Linda is that she's got such a great following around the world. She's always in constant with a lot of her fans that usually she's got her two phones going at the same time. Uh, which is oh, wow. fun for me because and then she's they're always chiming in around the world that that I find special so that's one of the things I was telling you about a couple of years ago and we I just couldn't get everybody together because of everybody's schedule but that's really really what I wanted to do because like I said till this day nothing beats what you created um, and that's a special thing nobody knows that ear that ear sound that you you created as that inventor you got people who do it, but they do it for certain things and they think everybody's like it. No, you actually know what that music is supposed to sound like. You actually talk to those musicians, to those sports people, to those CEOs, and you kind of create it from there. And I think that's cool. Yeah, that is neat. That's, that's to get feedback like that from the actual musician. You know, they have something in mind. They're, they're not only trying to get a point across with their music, but they're trying to get a point across with their sound. They have something very specific in mind usually. So I think that's brilliant that you get their feedback. Well, like uh, for example, like a lot of uh, the original designs that we had had impactful bass, and uh, but a lot of some of the critiques uh, would say, "Well, that's too much bass." Said, okay, well, it's better to have too much and dial it down. <laughs> and, uh, to not have it at all and try to dial it up, right? Uh -huh. So uh, uh, we we built our reputation on being able to get the uh, definition of the bass because uh, bass is not just uh, sounds in a certain frequency, but it's uh, we have impact. Uh, how does it uh, you know uh, get to your ears on a kick drum? kicks a certain way. Does it sound like you're there uh, with the you know when the microphones are put around the drum kit and uh, you know you want to be able to hear each one, you know, with all the clarity and the dynamics and so being a drummer that, that makes me focus on uh, those kind of sound qualities. Maybe other people uh, can't get to. See, and then Linda, as he's talking, his voice is deep bass in my ears, and I love it. It's like it reminds me of being back in the box of a radio station by myself on air playing the hits of the day at that time. That's what I'm hearing in his voice. Now, you may not be able to hear that, but I, I mean, it, it's crystal clear. And, and like I said, I've had these for, I think, almost four years now. Wow. Nothing, no problem whatsoever. And they detach. I've, I've, been, I've, been, I've been walking around, I get door stuck in a door, it detaches and I just plug it back in. That's the other thing I like about that. Yeah. That's well, if you travel, you know, an airplane, uh, you know, it's, uh, oh, what's, what's that say, steel? Yeah, that's my last name. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Good advertising. There sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Linda Steele, right? Yep. Okay. yep. Uh, but uh, that would be uh, really uh, good for you. Uh, yeah, music is communication, okay? And the artist plays uh, a note or a group of notes, and how it impacts you uh, has a great deal to do with. Uh, uh, the uh, sound that's created, the sound that's captured, and then the sound that's reproduced. 
Mm. So some, sometimes it's uh, uh, you get far with one but not with the other. So, uh, you know, we, we think it's important that to get the full impact of uh, the music, to get the emotional impact of mm -hmm. the, the vocals or, you know, because, you know, when you are, are talking and we're singing to a microphone, it's not coming just from your mouth. It's coming from your whole being. And uh, that's what people uh, hear when they hear one of our uh, uh, headphones. And they say, oh, wow, that sounds uh, natural. You know, um, the, the best way that I, that something that's going in, in my head right now, uh, I've been in recording studios before, and I've seen movies where they're in recording studios, and they, they do another take, and they do another take, and they do another take. And I'll hear it for the first time, be like, oh, uh, nailed it. And they're like, nope, another take. Okay. Nailed it again. Well, nope, another take. And so you can tell just by being in a recording studio or just by watching a movie where they're showing, you know, what goes on in a recording studio, you can tell how particular they are about these details that you're talking about. That's, that's like, you know, like that's live. That is, <laughs> that's us with the, you know, with the virgin ear going, yeah, that sounds great, but no, that's not, it's not good enough. Yeah. And so you're, you know, somebody like you comes along and you feel what they're what they're trying to to express. Well, it's being able to interpret it. Okay, so do you hear what the musician hears? And right. the musician sometimes uh, aren't familiar with headphones and how good headphones can be. But when musicians hear our headphones, they go, "Oh wow, that's a that's a whole different dynamic." Mm -hmm. That's part of the reason why that we're so successful. So no, we got a, we got about two minutes left. I want to see about putting. I'm gonna, Linda. I'm gonna have to bump somebody on a Tuesday night because it's no, uh, no. Yeah. I, I I gotta see if I can get you in like at the end of March on our Tuesday night show because we're on a 220 countries around the world. But I want more people. A lot of these millennials, this Z generation, who don't know why monster headphones, the cables the small little speakers, the many things that you guys create are still better than all these other ones out there. When you started, there was only a couple headphone companies, if that. Now there's, I don't know how many there is, but there, but I'm like, I still say, this is the platform that you have to reach. And none of you guys are there and I tell it to their faces. I go, give me your headphone. Let me see if I like it. And I'm like, this is nice. Nah, no, I'm keeping these. Because when I'm at the convention, I'm on my Segway, I got my monster headphones on. Just like Linda, don't bother me because I'm <laughs> I got my music going. <laughs> I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> right. These well, things don't bother me. <laughs> so that's no. Great. So we had to we had to go around together. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I'm on my segue. And uh, we can go to town. Uh, so let's do this. Well, Linda, when you come, if you come into Vegas, you know I got my segue right, right over in the corner. It's because of Noel. That's why I'm always writing it. Okay. So uh, with that. Linda, would love, would love to have you over. I would love to be there. That, this would be such a great opportunity. That'd be great. Well, uh, we're looking for ways to bring CES and NAM show uh, back to its former self, because you know we have uh, you know so many concerns about uh, you know COVID and people getting together and uh, you know mu music is a community thing. It's, yeah, it's not. I mean, you have separate recording booths, but it still sounds better when it's all mixed together. Yeah, exactly. That, that's where you can hear all the uh, personalities of the different instruments. So no, I gotta thank you because you're gonna get cut off in 20 seconds. I'll set up a part two on our bigger platform and I'll have two of the other girls come in too. I wanna thank you. And again, I'm always promoting this because these are the best. That's why I love my rave box. No, thank you for that. Linda Steele, thank you for that. And I have to say this, 
If you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours because the world needs it. I'm Brian Sebastian, and we will see you next week.